morning, five minutes of self-care with Geraldine Hardy. So today, I'd like to offer you a different guiding principles within the philosophy of yoga. Reason being why I like to introduce you to this is because, you know, we have all read self-help books and um, always wanted to kind of maybe seek answers and get an idea how can I actually structure my life? How can I be happier? And I've done this for the past 25 years. And many of these self-help books, they just scratch the surface. They, they do not give you a guidance or an idea on how you can actually change your way of thinking. Because really happiness starts within ourselves and how we think about life. And when you hear someone saying to you, oh, just think positive, you just want to smack this person right now because it's not about positive thinking. It's the matter of how we can uncondition ourselves, reprogram the way how we think, our habits, our attitudes, and how we act. And it's a lot to do with self-sabotage. Um, between zero and seven, our brains are so susceptible to what our outside world teaches us. That's time where your brain wave is in the theta brain wave and you can literally get hypnosed. And it's a state of, it's so raw that what happens in these first seven years can really have an effect to the rest of your life, on your rest, uh, on, on your life. This means if you have experienced massive trauma or specific conditioning that can make you feel that you are not good enough, that you are maybe not um, worth it, or you have maybe been abandoned. So all of these um, situations and experiences between zero and seven can really determine the way how you're going to lead your life, how you're going to live it. And today I'd like to offer you the principle of Satya. Satya means truthfulness. Now I'd like to offer you a different version of it. We all know that lying is not great, but what about lying to yourself? Being really aware of what you want in your life. And I remember one teacher saying to me, how do you know what you want if you don't know who you are? So that speaks to authenticity. Authenticity is so important. Now, some people, they really try so hard to be authentic. They try way too hard. And you can see that when many people ask other people, like, what do you think? Um, how does this look like? At the end of the day, you need to really love yourself the way how you are. And it um, doesn't matter what other people think and what they say. And your journey is always different from everyone else's journey. I'll give you an example. My life has not been like uh, black and white. I've had so many various of jobs and I am now independent with my business partner. And we both experience really funny things. We have clients where we think, okay, we understand that we've experienced that before, but we made ourselves independent because we are not any more you know, belonging to a company or a specific tribe. But we know we belong to each other because we are very authentic the way how we are. Um, I've got gray hair now. I always wanted to have gray hair, like not gray, like platinum and silver. And many people say to me, Geraldine, but you have beautiful blonde hair. Yeah, but that, that's not necessarily me today. And that's okay. So authenticity, being truthful to yourself, how can you find it this week where you just say to yourself, do I really want to do this? Is this something that nourishes me, that nurtures me and that just gives me this feeling like, yes, I'm truly happy within my heart, my body and my soul. And authenticity means also to be sure, being able to show your vulnerabilities, being able to show yourself the way how you are. For instance, this morning, my words, to find my words is not easy, but that's okay. That's fine. Because what seems to be perfect in other people's eyes 
or how we should be does not necessarily need to be how you want to be. So just think about it. Satya, truthfulness. And I see it as being yourself, being you, and authenticity. Namaste, namaha.